Hello YouTubes, week three of my Australian adventure finds me on a little paradise, little piece of paradise. I am at Orpheus Island, just off the mainland of Australia. Um, yeah, I am chilling out in this lovely hammock. Check it out. And this is my view right now. So, I think I'm doing all right. I didn't think it could get better after the oldest rainforest in the world, but this is a pretty spectacular place. So I'm actually at a research station, the Office Island Research Station, and the James Cook University does a lot of research here. They do a lot of work out here and they take volunteers. So I volunteer four hours a day for them um, and they give me free accommodation. That's actually where I'm staying behind me. That's the communal kitchen area and the lab and stuff is more that way. Um, so yeah, I'm here for two weeks. Really, really looking forward to it. I spent uh, two hours this morning gardening. So while I'm here, I'm just gonna be doing a whole bunch of gardening and weeding, which is great because it means I'm outdoors and it's, yeah, in the sunshine. There's sunshine. It's the first time I have seen sun in quite a long time. So as much as I love the Daintree Forest, you don't ever see the sun. So I'm really, really excited for the sunshine. And this afternoon, we don't have to do any work. So we are gonna go for a walk. And um, there's a point uh, that way that we're gonna go check where you can snorkel off. And there's a clam garden the other way, which we're gonna go check out. So yeah, I'll show you guys that as we walk along. <laughs> Today is my last day on Orpheus Island and yesterday afternoon I sat down to try and put together some of my vlog footage and I came across a realization that just made me incredibly frustrated with myself so I realized that I had a whole bunch of vlog footage that I shot when the other volunteers were here and I don't know what I've done with it. I must have deleted it off my phone before I transferred it to my Mac because it's not anywhere on my phone, it's not anywhere on my computer and yesterday I just spent the whole day cursing myself because I couldn't believe I had managed to do that somehow. Anyway, this morning I've recovered and even though this is not particularly how I wanted to do this vlog, I'm going to try and piece together the last a week and a half and show you some of the cool things we've done on Orpheus Island. So first up, my main volunteer duties was to try and clear the forest of invasive plants. Um, so we spent four hours a day out here in the jungle trying to get rid of invasives and I think I did a pretty good job. So over here all this clear space that you see over here used to be filled with weeds everything where there's no vegetation i have cleared over the past couple of days and then extends right back this way all through there i cleared from weeds and invasives and all throughout there I've been cleared from invasives. So I'm pretty proud of myself. I think I've made a little bit of a success patch in the forest, got rid of some of the invasives. Um, there are still some around near the back over here that I didn't get time to get to. So I can show you what we were trying to clear. So there was this kind of holly looking plant. I don't know what it's called, but that was the first invasive we we're trying to get rid of. Then Oh, I've cleared all the other two already so there were another two plants that were invasive that we were trying to get rid of so yeah we spent a lot of time out here in the forest getting rid of invasives 
that was my main purpose for being here. Luckily, it wasn't only work, work, work while we were here. We also managed to do a lot of really cool, fun stuff. So we did quite a bit of snorkeling. Um, everybody was quite keen to do that. So I think we went snorkeling, I don't know, three or four times. Um, and this is where we go snorkeling off of. This is the point. Um, and yeah, I actually really, really enjoyed the snorkeling here. I think even more so than my diving from Cairns because even though the visibility isn't that great, only maybe 45 meters, just the amount of coral life and fish life here is quite incredible. And even though this reef has gone through a lot and there's been a lot of coral bleaching and a lot of the corals have unfortunately died, it's still really beautiful. And there are some incredible soft corals that I've never seen before. And yeah, just the fish and big fish as well, not just little fish, like these really, really cool big fish that, um, I swam with here was really awesome. Did a lot of free diving as well because some of the bits are quite deep. So yeah, I really enjoyed that. And I saw it saw a turtle twice, which was really cool. Um, a green turtle. And all of my previous experiences with green turtles have been when you see them, they swim away, they get really scared. But this guy here, and I'm pretty sure it's the same guy. I can't confirm that, but I feel like it's the same turtle because I've met him in the same place twice and had the same behavior. And I would dive down with him and we just swim along together, him checking me out, me checking him out. So that was quite a magical experience. So yeah, I really enjoyed the snorkeling from here. did this really cool hiking track called the creepy crawly alley track in there. and this is the one I'm most disappointed about because even though I still have the GoPro footage and stuff from I snorkeling I took some really cool video footage on that trail which was on my phone which I can no longer find so you're just gonna have to be happy with some photos and a lot of these photos were taken by one of the other volunteers, Vanessa, and I'm gonna link down her Instagram below so you can check out some of her photos. She's got some really cool stuff. But yeah, this is the start of the trail. It was a really beautiful hike. It takes you sort of over the island to the other side to another bay, like this beautiful beach that opens out in front of you, really pretty. So yeah, it was, a, it was an awesome hike. There were three students here from the James Cook University, who is the university that owns the Orpheus Island Research Station. And there were two students that were studying stingrays and one student that was studying juvenile sharks. And funnily enough, I actually met them at the conference in Cairns. So it was quite a coincidence that we would meet there and then both have time here at Orpheus Island together. They were supposed to be here until I left, but unfortunately due to field failures, and this is a very important lesson for any potential marine biologists out there. Fieldwork success is never guaranteed. There's always going to be issues. So due to some fieldwork issues for them, they had left early. But, oh, here we go. So this is what I wanted to show you. Um, I wanted to talk about stingrays. That's why I'm making this video. And this habitat that I'm walking in now is perfectly suited to stingrays. It's nice and shallow. Um, there you can see it's like just below knee deep there are a couple of mangrove forests around and this 
is the perfect stingray habitat because there are many shark species who like to make snacks out of stingrays and they like to come into the shallow water to hide. So this is quite a popular area for stingrays and there are actually two species here that were the same species that I worked on. And dun da da da, we can see them over here. These are the mangrove tails and they are called mangrove tails because they like to hide out in the roots of the mangroves. really big I think the biggest one we caught in the Seychelles was just over a meter across so these guys are still really young really small juveniles and they like to hang out in the shallow waters so yeah that is what all I wanted to say about stingrays